Hey guys, it's Incap. So I know it's been a while since my last video and I'm very sorry about that. I tried to film different things, like some new prop replicas I got. It's kind of like awkward sometimes to film things because like you want to be excited about it for yourself and not make commentary and just have your own little, oh yay, without feeling like you need to say something important. Table squeaking. But I am very excited for today's figure. I do just want to let you guys know, this is not sponsored by the way, this is just, I really like this shirt. Um, you can get this shirt on Etsy. I am going to leave a link to their Etsy profile. They have a lot of different shirts and I really like this one. Anyways, today I am unboxing a figure for a game I still haven't beaten. I have to be getting close to the end, or at least like the three quarters part, you know. Um, it is the Anne uh, Takamaki, or they say in the English one, Takamaki, but the uh, on figure from Persona 5. Uh, I was very lucky to find this on my figure collection. I added it to my wish list a day or two later. Someone was selling it. Um, big shout out to them for selling it to me uh, and covering postage because postage is a bitch. But I am so, so excited to open her up because I haven't looked at her yet. I love the style of the box uh, being, you know, obviously if you've played the game, you know, it's a lot of red and black and white colors, but very excited for her. She is my second, no, third persona figure because I have her Nando and Ryuji's Nando. So let's open her up. Please no spoilers for the game. I just, like I'm on the fifth palace right now. So please don't spoil it because I'm enjoying this game. I know it's years old, but somehow I've managed to avoid spoilers, and I would like to continue that. Uh, this is actually my first figure from this company. I've never ordered anything from like them. It's, Am it's Amakuni, which, I don't know. Oh, they included the original directions, thank God. Okay, so when we open her, we did a really good job of repacking everything and the plastic. That's what we're greeted with. Oh, okay, so you take this little piece off. I gotta look at the pictures because I'm dumb and don't know how things are supposed to go. What is this for? Ah! Here she is! Oh, I love her! She does have the option to remove the mask, which is just held on by two little pegs, and you can put on her bangs, like they clip in right there. Personally though, I really like the mask when she's in costume. I just think it looks really good, that's how you see her in the game. I love that the base says Persona 5. I know it's a very simple base, but I think it works because she is so dynamic with her pose, but also because she she's very like bright, like red is a very bright color. I really like the eyes, how they did that. The whole face is really good. I was a little concerned. Um, she's my first leaning figure, as in she, she doesn't have any support pegs holding her in the sense of like, you have this, but this is for her width. This does not like hold her up. Actually is supposed to sit and kind of help with the width, keep it in shape. But I don't think you need it because it doesn't really like come off like you do or don't. They did really good. All the zippers like look like zippers. They're not just silver lines, which obviously like this is a scale figure. I think this retailed over a hundred dollars at least. I'm gonna guess it retailed about 120. So she's uh, about the same size as my Sonico or uh, Konosuba girls. But I really like her. I am so satisfied. Um, now obviously I didn't purchase this from a shop so I can't be like, oh, I'm really happy. You should order from this shop. Um, but the guy I ordered her from very nice guy. I'm very happy with her. Um, especially like that, like the boots have the folds, like because of the material her boots would be, like it actually has folds. There's like little folds on her 
latexy suit. I'm assuming it's like latex pleather. I don't know. I don't have to know. It's not my job. But I really like her. I think they did such a good job sculpting her and her hair especially. It looks like she's like jumping forward and her hair is just flowing behind her. And it has those classic on wave. I play the game like uh, dubbed solely because I was like, if I look away for a second, it's, it's much, I was like, I don't think I can play uh, video games subbed as easily. Oh, I'm so excited to add her. She's probably gonna, she's definitely gonna go on my dental with my Nico Robin probably. Um, Cause she's tall enough you'd see her. But I, I really like this figure. I don't really have much to say other than I'm very happy with her. Sorry I haven't been putting out content. I just, I have like six figures that cannot be shipped to me right now because of the whole COVID uh, thing, which is, I understand that and I get it and I'm not mad. I'm just like, I see other people getting figures sometimes and I'm like, oh, I wish mine was here. But we'll just set her there so you guys can all marvel at her beauty. Uh, I really want to get a scale for each of the Phantom Thieves. I really like the Makoto one with uh, Joanna, her uh, persona. I think that one's just super cool. I also want to get the one of Futaba, because I really like the Futaba one. The sad thing is Persona 5 is so popular. No, that's not sad, but it's sad that it's popular because figures go for so much now, and <laughs> I really want it. Yeah, anyways, I forgot to put her tail on my Android. Don't know why I did, but I did. But yeah, there they are compared. Obviously, this one's gonna have more details because it's not an Android. It's a big scale you're paying a lot more money for. Whereas this one, you're paying for the interchangeable parts and the cute style. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you want to keep up with me, I do have an Instagram where I post pretty regularly overall. Sometimes I do miss, like, don't post for a week, like, any photos. It's usually just I forgot to take them, I've been busy, or I'm not mentally there. Uh, and I always link my Instagram down in the comments and my My Figure Collection page, which is actually where I found her. If ads all the time that you can look through and if you have a figure on your wish list like I had her it will notify you that hey someone is selling this from your wish list so if you are trying to get into figure collecting even if you don't have anything it's probably a good place to start I am very happy with her I hope you guys are glad to see this I hope you're glad to see some content from me I'm trying to think of some videos to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this. There's always links in the description. I will put a link to where I got my shirt. Um, so if you want one, if you're a Silent Hill fan, you can get one too. This really sounds like I've been sponsored this video. I haven't. Uh, I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's anything you'd ever like me to talk about. Like, I am very open to suggestions. Uh, I do have one idea that might work. Um, and I think the way I could do it would be kind of nice, but I, I gotta see. Let me know what you thought, and I will see you guys in the next video.